Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Oh, 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 oh. Deante pour some tea on Ante's advice. Yes. But that was a very long interview and he was pouring and pouring. And I have condensed that interview, my lovelies. I have condensed it. All right. So here's the news flash. Okay. I'm going to give you all in bits and pieces, but very the juicy morsels. Number one, he's not going to Mississippi. Thank freaking goodness. He's not going to Mississippi. She's coming to Virginia because he didn't want to give up his job and all that. What well, he has going over there. And he knew he knows he can't recoup all that, you know, once he walks away. So Lindsay is coming to Virginia and Miley Grace is excited about it because guess what? Miley Grace is coming too, but she's going to come within a month after Lindsay gets settled. So he's going to drive to Alabama. Yes, you heard right. Alabama because Lindsay is not in Mississippi. She's in Alabama. So he's going to drive down from Virginia to Alabama to pick up Lindsay. Then they're going to stop at the grandma's house to visit Miley, the grandma, and then go to Virginia and stay a month. And then Miley's going to come after a month. All right. That's a lot to unpack. And there is so much more, my lovey, so much more. All right. So we all heard that Lindsay said she had a girlfriend, right? Right? Well, apparently, Deontay's okay with it. He's okay. He said the relationship will get stale if he doesn't have a, another person. As long as that other person doesn't look like uh, 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 Tia. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. So, so he's okay with it. He's okay with her having a girlfriend. So, all I'm saying is, um, Deontay, you better make sure, you better make sure <laughs> that, uh, you got a parking place for that girlfriend's camper in your driveway, okay? Because she's going to be living with you guys pretty soon. Because you're going to be working a lot. He says he works a lot and he's not very home that much. So when the cat's away, the mouse will play. And she might move in that girl. So, and guess what? Lindsay wants a puppy dog. And I'm like, uh, and he wants one too, but... And he was going to go for it. And he might still go for it. But auntie was telling him, mm, that's a lot of responsibility. And he says he knows he's not even home a lot. But he always wanted one, but he's never home. I'm like, Deontay, don't do it. Don't do it. I have two is enough. So then, um, then, uh, Deontay reveals that Lindsay was uh, in isolation. She was in isolation for a solid month after the uh, filming of this latest uh, How to Date a Con episode. And you wonder what, what, what? And she gives them this weak ass excuse for being um, in the shoe, as they call it. That's isolation. And, um, but apparently, yeah, she must have, something must have happened for her to be in lockdown. And he is, and I'm like, do you not see any red flags, Deontay? She's in lockdown for a whole month in prison. Obviously, Mississippi doesn't want her because they shipped her off to Alabama. And you didn't see the episode with her and Scott. But anyhow, um, yeah, she has gotten some scrapes with him. She's hung up the phone on him plenty of times. And moving a little bit closer, I think she's jealous of Rachel. She's jealous of Rachel. She says Rachel is like the fan favorite. And she knows that fans want Rachel and Deontay together. And she's not comfortable with that. She is not comfortable with that. I, You know what? I know Deontay likes Rachel. And I thought Rachel, when I saw that con, how to do the con thing, I saw something change in Rachel's face when she found out that he was dating Lindsay. Um, and Deontay said he couldn't tell anyone that he obviously could, you know, anyone. He, but he did tell a few people because it, it affected them, I think, some family members or something. But he says his mother does not know that Lindsay is moving in with him. She thought, you know, she's not happy with it, but she thought it was going to happen in, you know, Mississippi somewhere. But apparently that's not the case because Deontay smart. He doesn't want to give up his job in, in his things. So, because he has a couple of jobs there. Anyhow, 
you know, mom was going to be upset because his sister wanted to live with him because he has a spare bedroom. And he told his sister, no, 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 no. But yet he invites an, a felon, okay, a violent felon at that. And he said, um, you know, but that's okay because sometimes you don't want to live with your sibling. That's a whole, you know, he wants to live on his own. He can invite whoever he wants to. That's my opinion. But he's going to have that baggage with his mom. But he said it, things are serious because he was outside, you know, I guess coming to his apartment and a PO officer came around asking who he, you know, are you Deontay Sierra? And he's like, uh, who are you? And that was the parole officer. It's getting real, real, real. And um, so he just, he says, give me a minute while I straighten up things. The guy just walked on up in this house, not even a minute. And Deontay said he had his gun on the table and obviously he can't have that around a felon. So he's going to have to do a lot of changing when Lindsay gets there. But I'm like, you're going it's to, it's a lot. Let me, I have some notes. Let me see my notes. Um... Uh, because I'm always under pressure that it, this is not a relationship. It is an arrangement, okay? An arrangement to keep pocket coins in their pockets. Now, Auntie asked him, was it due to fame? And he says, no, I have fame. But you can never have enough money. Yeah, Auntie, you can never have enough money. So, is that it? So, um, hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I just think that, you know, it's going to be a lot of problems because... You know, he was saying that another inmate contacted him, trying to get with him. And Lindsay found out, and she was not happy, not thrilled. She was ready to beat someone down for that. And I'm, and all this time, you know, if I'm to believe this timeline and how, you know, she started talking to him before the show, uh, and um, the show doesn't like cast members talking to each other outside of the show and he was like you know what we're gonna do this thing whether you guys like it or not and they were like fine can we film it and of course Lindsay had saw his little commercials and that's how supposedly she probably got her people to talk to Deontay but but they had an open relationship so they could dabble until she gets out but no 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 catching feelings and that's been the case. But yeah, I guess Lindsay has to flex in that jail and she's getting in trouble and crying and all that stuff, you know, Lindsay. And Deontay's not picking up these cues. Um, so let me see. Oh, and she says she she supports, I've heard her say it on her, her Instagram that she supports, somewhere I saw it, she said she supports Miley Grace and she actually sent Deontay some money. And he was in a bind, supposedly, yeah. I'm like, how are you making your money? And he was thinking she made her money, you know, because she didn't get to spend the cash from the show. And let me tell you how, like, in production, because I study production, you get your money in thirds, in thirds, usually. But they pay so little. I think they're up to $3,000 now. So let's just say they're paying $3,000. They give you 1000 before you film, thousand during filming plus a five hundred dollar per diem or 250 per diem money while you're filming on that day so every day that you're filming they give you a little petty cash and then after production after everything is a wrap you get your final payment so apparently she had some coinage but i'm thinking uh she was scamming some men or something in order to get some real 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 money because you know she's been there for a minute um, but I'm surprised that she felt a certain, certain way about Rachel, very threatened. Cause she can see how his eyes light up for Rachel. Anybody can see that. So, um, she will be moving in and, and, and hopefully not taking over. Cause already she told him she wants a dog and Deontay needs to say no, no. Cause you got to see how this works out and you just cannot kick her out at a certain time. So, Day 28, kick her out, Deontay. Is she acting any kind of way? Kick her out because on the 30th day, you're going to have to evict her. And then you got to discuss some things with her PO. He says there's a lot of stuff he didn't even know about. Because remember, Nicole wasn't paroled to his house, so he didn't have to deal with any of that stuff. But he has to deal with it now. So it's a lot of stuff. And he has to transport Lindsay to Virginia because they're not going to do it. 
Yeah. So that's a lot of stuff. And he seems like he didn't, um, he just went with his feet first and he didn't really think this through because this is very serious. She's a very, you know, she's, she's a very emotional person. She's very emotional. If you've seen Scott's episode with Lindsay, she's emotional. One thing is, you know, she might give him a little something, something, you know, opposed to Nicole who gave him nothing. But I don't know if it's worth it, okay? Because he said he was getting his something on the side because they had an open relationship until she comes out of jail. So that is a lot. That is a lot to untell. What do you guys think about that? What do you think? Okay, I've always stood by that this was a PR thing. Something um, about WeTV trying to extend, you know, keep it, this cash cow running and Deontay's got his hand out for the coins. And I kind of still believe that. But when I'm listening to his interview with Auntie's advice, I'm like, mm, I don't know if you thought this through, Deontay. You can't be blindly walking in through things. He did describe the uh, executive producers as kind of like out there, you know, but like the executive producer may be out there, but he's not living with Lindsay. You're going to be living with Lindsay Deontay. You are. So I hope you think this through. I don't want you keeping in her past 29 days. No, 28. Because you don't want to say, oh, that was at the mid stroke of midnight. And that was the 30th day. So kick her out on the 20th day. Um, I don't think her child should be living with you guys. That's too much uh, moving around and instability. According to Deontay, Molly Grace wants to come to Virginia because she can't wait to see the beach. And I'm like, well, how is she going to be a mother to Miley Grace? Okay. And she wants a dog. She's never been a mother. So how is she going to mother a dog? I don't get it. So I just think, you know, because according to what Deontay said, she's going to have a lot of hours by herself and she wants some company. So that's why she wants a dog. Like, no, that's not the reason. So anyway, my lovelies, that is a mouthful, I know. So I'm definitely in it at this particular point. You know what you have to do. Drop a line. And let's have this discussion below. Uh, okay, you know, um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And hit that notification bell because, you know, just check it, okay? Just keep on hitting it because you guys are doing an excellent job. Okay, my lovelies, I'll check you all on the flip side.